So this is the latest from Gotway, the Gotway Tesla. Hub, power adapter, 84 volt. Well, no straight away, I need to pump a tire up because it feels a bit soft. Okay, so we've got the ACM foot plates on it. Wow, so it's very MCM design, very similar to that, but a lot bigger. So 16 inch wheel, you've got power, light, uh, charger, and a USB, all on the front, playing low. So it's the 1020 watt hour version. Very good, so you've got the light rings on the sides. Wow. Feels pretty, uh, pretty sturdy and strong. Like the usual. Okay, let's give it a go. First impressions. Wow, very, very solid. No rock at all back and forth. Real, real, real solid. Battery's low, so as they always are when they come out. So I'm gonna see it's on charge, but wow. Yeah, real, real solid. Very, very nice. Feels really smooth and solid. Can't wait to get it charged up and take it out. See what it's like. Ooh. Nice, I like it. Right, let's get it on charge. Okay, we are all charged up, ready to go. So what I'm gonna do is take this now for a full on range test. Um, just a full on test, really. Okay, and the weight of her is 18.99, so 19 kilograms for the 1020 version. Um, yeah, that's not, it's not ridiculously heavy, especially for the performance it packs. A okay, tire inflate 35 to 45 PSI. And for those interested, there's the tire spec 16 by 2.125. And there's the tread type. So the valve's plenty accessible. I'm um, just sat in the bottom here. I use a valve extension just to make life a bit easier, but uh, um, it, it fits on no problem. So she's out in the wild, ready to, uh, oh, and it's John Woolley has joined us. How you doing? We'll go through a few tests on this one. So first the test we're gonna do with it is what I'll call the commuter test, really to see whether or not it holds in water and mud, etc. which probably won't get mud on the commuter route, but, if there's no overspray coming up the back, as it were, heel it, or if it's bar, Jonathan's uh, bottom is fairly clean. Clean as it can be, put it that way. Um, <laughs> and so we're gonna test it like that first. Everything's all sparkly and clean and nice and brand new. What a shame to wreck this thing. But anyway, we try not to wreck it. We do that test first, then we are gonna benchmark it against other wheels. M Super, the Monster, the Gotway M Super, Gotway Monster, and the Emotion V8. This being a 16 inch wheel, obviously the M Super is an 18 inch and the Monster's a 22 inch, but we're gonna just see what it compares like. It's not really, it's a bit apple and oranges, but we will compare nonetheless. Right, and here we go, just about to set off. First time on the Tesla. So as standard, it's restricted by tilt back and beeps. 
so you can't go its maximum potential you can adjust this in the app we're gonna leave it as standard for now for now and then fiddle about with it a lot later on so you're getting a bit of spray coming up but it's not going up high that spray is staying low at the moment Beautiful looking machine though. Oh, so we have been through some slick mud and there's not really any overspray at all. Nope. And John's just going to connect up now with his application. Looks like you're using wheel log there, John. I am. Okay. He sat there patiently. Let's go left here, shall we? Dog walks in the wood. That's a good bit, don't come off it, whatever you do. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Tell you. That's it. Oh! You're right. I'm alright. Yeah. I'm just going to come around this bit and then go up here like that, see? <laughs> All right, so now we're in some more rough stuff. So There's a mixture of nice, hard, compacted driveway, uh, and then loose boulders, pretty much. To put it through every single possibility. Right, so we have done 1.3 miles. Let's have a look at John's bottom. Clean? Yeah, it's all clean. That's good then. And the actual wheel itself, I'm not sure if you can see that. I'm trying to make it as clear as possible. It's, there's bits of mud at the bottom, but it hasn't actually really sprayed up hardly at all. So that's remained clean-ish. And front, nothing, what we expect. And we've been through quite a lot of mud. For a mile and a half almost, so. That's, that's a pass at the moment. So we'll just continue on and then feedback on what the ride quality is like, etc. etc. So we're going to try the uh, Gotway app now. Now we've done a mile and a bit and just see if we can turn off that tilt back at that speed and see if we can increase the top end of it. Settings. Okay, mode selecting. Interesting. Should we try that first of all? Powerful mode, comfortable mode, soft mode. Let's go to comfortable mode, shall we? Let's go comfortable mode. It's set to comfortable mode. Thank and you very much. We've got Let's tilt go. back. Let's have a look at the old tilt back. Tilt back. So if we adjust that up to, what should we say? Um, Let's turn up to the 48. 48. Death. 48 comments now. Tilt back speeds. And let's just test that now and see that the alarm should cut in. What? When you get to, <laughs> no, when you get to, um, yeah, the alarm will cut in before it starts tilting back. And then we can have a look at turning off the alarms if we need to. But one alarm will always remain. That's the 80% power. Alarm. The other alarm is the scream I'll make. Here we are, we're off. And uh, currently hitting about four miles an hour. Uh, we're going faster now. So. Oh, I think that's, that's way faster than it was before. Are you getting tilt back? No, no so the tilt back's gone. Right, okay. Yeah, I would have. I would have thought on the older models the alarm stayed. You had to go and turn that off separately. So you could remove the tilt back. Well, this is the alarm setting. We kind of bypassed here. So the alarm setting. Um, it's saying close first alarm, close second, and open alarm. Oh right, okay. So it was already off as standard. So I'm putting open all alarms. I put on now. Okay, let's try that then. I think it has to be stopped to make it work. But let's try it anyway. Uh, has it stopped? Turn off the again? No, no, just stopped still. But try it. We we'll just try it anyway. But then try. No, it's not beeping. He's flying along there. Uh, by the way, I'm currently on the in motion V8.
No, there's no alarm, is there? Twenty-five kilometers an hour. Check now. Let's try stopping and set the alarms again. All right, let's try it. Open your alarm. Sit still. Try again. Obviously, some of these changes are critical changes, so it doesn't usually work when you're moving. Is the theory. But it doesn't seem to be alarms not going off now either. That's with all alarms open. It's interesting. The speaker works though, we know that, because when you change it, it beeps at you. Hmm. We're now on the tarmac. Gonna go ahead and flying along. Now the V8 max is there at about 18, 19 miles an hour. And this is John. Flying along. Cattle grid. <laughs> gonna try the cattle grid? Yep. So let's try him on the old cattle grid. Bruce, here. Go. Yeah, go for it. No problem at all. What are you doing there, John? I was trying to remotely turn the lights on. It's on. I should now put it to flash mode. Oh yeah, it's flashing. Hard to make it in the daylight, but. I mean, I should turn them off. Well, it off. John, three. Two, one, go, racing. Oh, look at this, much more powerful. Right. Uh, oh no, it's just pretty clean that, to be fair. We've got a bit around the front. Bruce will get you more muddy. His back pulls throw up loads of mud. I mean, you would not commute to work to do anything like that, usually. No. Nah. Nope. Uh, it's kept you, your... Your bottom area is all clean. Yeah. What? And so are your, so are your trousers completely, basically, yeah. same as they were when you put them on. So that's pretty neat. That's a thumbs up for that one. I was out at the M Super yesterday, commuting to work on it, and it was slightly wet. The roads had been a bit of rain the through the night, and I wore past the trousers and a rucksack on my back, and I was completely wet at the back. That's on the M Super. So compared to that, this is doing a much better job. But the M Super has got an 18 inch wheel, doesn't it? Which yeah. protrudes from the bodywork. That's right. And the Monster is even worse it's for that because it's got 22 inch wheel. But as you will see, I've done a modification on mine. Made it better in every possible way. Yes, yeah, apart from looks. He's like, mm, just didn't come off, just. <laughs> this isn't even part of the video review. <laughs> As you may have noticed, the swap wheels. I've done a little while on the uh, KS18 King Song. Well, I'm going to catch up with John now. And ask him he's getting on. So, John, how are you finding it so far? It's really good. It's a nice, nice solid ride, solidly put together, handles really well. It's taken everything we've thrown at it so far. We've only about four miles, but it's been slippy and wet and muddy, and it's handled really well. It's quite high up, uh, so the, the cushions are up quite high. But actually, I quite like that as a riding style. It makes it feel really solid and secure compared to the smaller wheels. It's nice, very responsive. And most of the mud on that front came from the dog and me, wasn't it? That's from riding bed. behind you at about uh, 20 miles an hour. Got a bit of spray. Yeah. Hilarious. Yeah, it was great. Great. How's it do? That's really good. Really good. Impressive. Great. Sir. What? Oh, are you beeping, John? It beeps at 20 miles an hour. At when? 20 miles an hour. 20 miles an hour? Yeah. There we go. Alarms do work. So, I wonder what happens if you turn the alarms off. Which, why would you want to turn it off? Uh, this 20 is quite quick, isn't it? 
if you go up at 20 miles an hour, you're going to hurt yourself. You're yeah, quite that's a serious injury, isn't it? So, John is now trying the uh, speed test. He's got a massive wobble on there. What's the wobble all about? 25 miles an hour. Now, for many of you watching, a wobble almost always is from being nervous, too tense. And that's what you get when you try and do speed tests because obviously you don't want to come off at 25 miles an hour. Here, settling. 25 again. 25 again. Yeah, this be, just telling the viewers, it's, it's because you're tense. I've tried it both ways, I've tried to relax it, and I've tried to tense it. If you pass me that wheel, I'll do 25 no, miles an hour without a wobble. No, I'm, I'm <laughs> just think of pleasant things, like daisies in a field or something. Oh, there it is again. Now you've got to remember, John is a very, very experienced rider. <laughs> that wobble is a killer. The wobble is a killer. I don't know what I'm doing differently. I don't know what, what caused that wobble. Do you want me to jump on it and have a look? No. <laughs> I just want to try it, see if it's all right. Let's <laughs> <laughs> make sure there's nothing funky with it. Okay. So, what are you getting at then? 25? 25, and then the wobble starts. The nervous wobble. It's not a nervous wobble. I don't feel nervous. <laughs> I'd get the first two hours out at the Gotway, at the Monster. I don't okay, feel... no? No wobble with that. No issues. Inexperience. No experience, <laughs> you keep practicing, I'll come back to you in a few few minutes. Well, I just had a quick go anyway on it. Uh, I managed to get 26 out of it. Not mentioning about anything about any wobbles though. But I didn't get a wobble. But I do get a low battery warning. So it's showing at 85, 89% on the way up there. When you come down, it cuts right down to about 20, which is typical on the uh, gotways. It seems to be, the, the jumps all over the place. Oh, look at that wobble. <laughs> oh, you got 26, did you? Yeah. With the wobble, imagine what you get without the wobble. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go up slightly closer. It's a wolf and not mine either. It's like a massive dog down there. Could be a polar bear, I'm not Could sure. Could be. Um, I'm going to go meet you midpoint where you start getting the wobble on so we can get full effect. So we're trying again. Tell me that was 26. What? Tell me that was 26. No, it's 24. Oh, goodness sake. Off you go again. No wobble, huh? He's getting there. He's getting the no wobble thing. Oh, <laughs> what happened just then? Yeah, okay, come on, John. You can do it, John. 22, 23? 25, that. 25, was it? Are you just making up the numbers now? <laughs> 26? He's getting it now, he's smoothing out that wobble. Oh, he's got it on. <laughs> I was just saying good things about you. Right, let's do it again. <laughs> Ah, he's got a wobble going on there, but he's carried on. And now we can hear the fans have cut in. So if you can hear it, it's turned off, as I've said it. But there's fans in there. Temperature recording is 39. 39. 39. Oh, we can hear him again now. Oh, it's shut off again. Wow. Well, with a monster, it's almost always on. So that's a nice touch. It seems a bit more uh, sensitive. Right, well, John has recorded 27 miles an hour. He's gonna have one more go, he said. He's got a massive wobble there. <laughs> what did you report, John? I got 26 again. 26 again. So the most we got is 27. And that's the wheel log app, isn't it, you're looking at? Uh, yeah. Not got way up, yeah. So the wheel log app. It just springs all over yeah, the place. Yeah, all over the place, pointless. Um, okay, right, yeah, well, we'll go with a max of 27. 
you'd actually need a GPS speed if you want to 100% confirm it, but it's around about that. And what we're saying is that is too quick, really. You wouldn't want to be traveling at that speed because you need to be kind of like dressed like this and have this on and knee pads on underneath there and armor. You've actually got armor on. Yeah, that takes all the convenience out of it. <laughs> yeah, completely ruins it. Because at that speed, if you come off, you're going to, yeah, we keep saying it, keep harping on about it, but yeah, just there we are. Just to prove I've got the. Uh... You've got the armor on. Yeah. yeah see that one. Can't see it. So. Just undressing for you. Yeah. So, what we're going to do now, just a real quick one, is the M Super 18 inch wheel and me on the Tesla. It's only the third time I've ridden the Tesla, so I've got to take it a bit steady. Right. Let's do it, shall we? Roll into the start, though. He's at the start, but. Right, roll and start. Oh, he's off. Can I keep up with him? That's the question. That means anything. Now we've got a speed bump. Uh, where were you at then? 21, but it's still too bad, so it's not changed that setting. Oh, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. This didn't feel as solid as that at speed. So that didn't feel as solid as the Tesla at speed. No, nowhere near. And I'm used to riding this 18, 19 miles an hour all the time. But 21, that felt much more solid at 23, 24. Yeah. But the monster just trumps these completely in terms yeah. of, but then the price is huge. <laughs> well, it is. <laughs> in comparison. Do, yeah. I guess the size of the wheel and the sure footing on that big wheel, it makes all the difference. Yeah. But. Yeah, but this a... is what, 18 months, two years old in design on that one? Right, okay, yeah. So they've come a long way, haven't they, really? Yeah. What you usually get on Gotways is a bit of play back and forth, so you get a bit of rocking, which is perfectly normal across all the models, but the Tesla doesn't have that at all. Yeah, you push solid. it forward, it's solid as anything. It's a bit like the Inmotion V8. It's a complete solid platform. And the 9-bot, 1, E+. plus. It's a bit like that. Real solid, so you get on it, you've got instant, instant control. No... If we stop and go backwards, you don't get any play on it at all. Just quite a nice little feature on it. Nice and responsive. Okay, so back at the car now. Um, John will be leaving us shortly. And so I will do a range test probably tomorrow when I get round to it. We were saying that this has got a rear light. So at night time, it's really good. Same as the front light. Now, the Tesla hasn't got a rear light at all, and it can't be seen from behind, so that's a bit of a shame. King Song, they've done it, front and back. So if you go forward, it changes, you see? Yeah. Clever, isn't it? Um, and the other thing is, it's got a battery readout, which is also a good feature on the King Song. But these are completely invisible from the side. Yes, from the side, you can't see them. So when I'm quite conscious of riding around in the dark, sometimes I wear black to go light front and back on that one but completely this is visible beautiful from the side but not from the back not from the back front I can't, I can't, sides but not back i can't understand why they didn't go up that little extra mile and just put a light in there a little one of me right yeah yeah shame really but otherwise you can see it from all angles apart from the rear that you kind of king song you kind of can kind of comes around the side a bit you've got some indication but that nothing at all yeah, just another little point. I keep bending over to hold it as well. Don't need to. Just do that. No need. That is actually nice. Nice handle. So actually pushing that from the side, rather from behind. Yeah, from behind, which is so, like the in motion. So going through train stations and stuff, that can be a bit of a pain in the back side, up and down escalators things. That's going to be nice and smart up and down escalators. And it won't usually be covered in mud. Okay. Day two of the testing. I'm out again, trying to put some miles on this thing to complete the uh, the range test. Woo! So it's getting on in the afternoon now. So I'm trying to stick as much as I possibly can. I've got about an hour of daylight approximately. Uh, we're on 69% uh, battery at about 13.4 kilometers done. So let's see what you can do. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okie dokie. The low battery alarm now. 21 miles in. Coming off intermittently. But today is around about two degrees. Might even be one degree now. Uh, so you'd expect probably a 30% to 50% increase in warmer climate, as in 21, 22 degrees C. That's the difference in performance you'll find. So the result I get will be the worst result you can get. Okay, well, it's beeping at me constantly. What I'm gonna go and do is put it back on charge and I'm gonna go do a second run, but at night time. You also have to see how good the front light is, etc. This appears to be the battery readout. So the app's saying 30%, but it's beeping at me all the time. So I presume it's around 20%. Whoa, okay. That's the rapid charge on. And now uh, we will see in a bit what the second run produces in terms of distance. Oh, and the mileage I did get was 23 miles. So in reality, what this means is you probably get another three miles out of it with it beeping like that. Um, so you're probably looking at about 25, 26 miles in one to two degrees C. And it's probably a 30 mile machine for my weight in the summer. I would have said. Might get a bit more. Um, and the speeds was traveling was pretty quick. So if we slowed it down a bit, I mean, it's pretty much doing 20 miles an hour. If I was to do 12 to 15 miles an hour, you get even more miles out of it. So it's worth bearing that in mind as well. Ooh, it's green. Okay, and there we go. Fully charged up. Time to head out into the night. So uh, you can't really see the visibility of the uh, headlight, but it's, um, yeah, it's pretty decent. It's enough for me to see. Your camera doesn't pick it up, but I can see just fine. battery readout here obviously the other thing is if you turn off the front light it keeps it like that now and if you cycle back through it it changes it to should I show you see it fixes it so it's not spinning the side lights are essentially off apart from those top ones and the brake so that's pretty neat so you lose the front half slam on the brake the brake light comes on it keeps the battery read out there for you if you then cycle back through that and turn it off now you get the full full show flashing away at you so that's pretty neat so you can turn those off by doing that cycling through the front light switch Well, as you may see, it's kind of got daytime again. Um, but I'm back out on it early this morning because I had an accident and went into the uh, Indian and got a takeaway and then I got carried away. Um, anyway, back out this morning to continue the run. Woo! Okay, for the last bit of this final bit, I'm about 21 miles in. I've now come onto the trails, just for the final bit. So it's beeping when it's under pressure now to say low battery warning, um, but it's not doing it all the time. So I'm gonna run it until 
even at standstill, it's warning you of a low battery. And we call that quits at that point. Obviously still got more in the tank then, but not a lot. Um, just waiting for Bruce to catch up. Bruce the Husky. It's gone somewhere. But as you can see, the uh, weather has taken a bit of a turn for the worst. And uh, getting pretty soaked now. But all for you guys to test it out in the real world. So more or less all this, well actually uh, all of this, 21 miles, oh, someone's coming, that way. 21 miles of this has been um, on road. So this is only the final bit now off road, which obviously hits into the range it'll do a little bit, soft mud and all that and stones and blah, blah, blah. Right, over there, onwards and upwards. So uh, this is the sort of restricts me quite a lot now. It's not beeping all the time, I don't think, yet. No, so it's still not beeping all the time. Uh, there's the battery readout on the side there, if that means anything. Um, but yeah, I have, to, I have to go quite slow now, up to the steep hill I've just come up. It's pushing me back a lot. I couldn't have been doing more than sort of six miles an hour. Now it's flattening out, it's making me go a bit faster, or letting me. And that's it, 22 miles traveled at that point oh it's windy up here as well on this ridge oh this is lovely mm, can't wait till summer and up there that's what we got to contend with Woo. right well at 24 miles it's doing the beep even when it stood still uh, almost exactly on 24 miles, but this hill has taken out of it. It's a massively steep hill, but anyway, 24 miles, and it's almost unrideable now. So when I go up this hill, it's tilted me right back. Stretches the old calf muscles out. That's for sure. So it's almost, as you can see, you can see the toes of my shoes, <laughs> which you wouldn't usually be able to see. So I got to push it up here, uh, and then. Right on the flat, but no good on hills. Oh, and the retractable leaves decided not to be retractable. <sighs> right, one more and upwards. Okay, well, it's been an absolute pleasure to ride, I must admit. It's a stonking machine. Absolutely brilliant. And despite all that dirt trail riding, next to, next to nothing really. This overspray on this side is due to the uh, the dog, me and John were out. But it has been really, really good. It's plenty of power, loads and loads of power. It's almost monster-esque, just apart from the monster, obviously you've got a 22 inch wheel for, and the weight, massive weight for stability. Um, but this thing packs a massive punch. Um, it's been flawless. I did hit a massive pothole one of those ones where you're not looking, it's a good indication of why you should never go fast. Um, because of events like that, where yeah, you've got plenty of power, but you hit a massive pothole at speed, you've got less margin of error in terms of the amount of power that thing can output. And it didn't like it. Um, I mean, I was going 25 miles an hour probably, hit a pothole, and uh, that was not comfortable. <laughs> it's fine, it handled it. But uh, yeah, it made me clench a little bit. All good though, survived. Um, so that's the distance I got with it, 24 miles. Um, and so it's different for everyone, depending where you live and the terrain you're riding on and the rider weight and your tire pressure. But I got tire inflated to the max um, as recommended on the tire sidewall. So if you guys from all over the world who watch these videos, you wanna comment below if you've got a Tesla, only if you've got a Tesla, no point in saying you've got so-and-so that does that. Um, and so people all over the world will be able to see what distance you're getting. Um, just as long as you've done at least two or three runs and you've mapped it completely 100% accurately, write down what range you're getting, what your rider weight is, and where you're located, and what the temperature was at the time. And was it a mix of hills or was it just all flat, like a promenade or something like that? Just write down those details, those basic details in the comments and we should be able to collaborate and get a nice idea of what the actual range of this is. But in about one or two degrees, with my rider weight at 
pretty high speeds. I would say up in the upper upper thirds power output almost all the time, um, 24 miles for me. Right, I hope this has been really helpful, guys. And don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and share. Bye.